Hello, it is Daisy Dementia. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you have been paying attention to my freeform lack journey, you will see I have everything from week one all the way up until now, which has been a whole calendar year. So I'm pretty excited about this video. Um, I'm gonna have photos of from the beginning to the end, alpha to omega, and um, just to, to see the progress that my hair has made has been an absolute wonderful feeling. And it's been emotional and healing all at the same time. I have never crocheted, I have never backcombed, I have never twisted and ripped. I had completely natural hair where my hair was basically up to my cheekbones and I have let it grow out and transform into what they are today. The products I use are very simple, Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo, which is really great for the scalp, in conjunction with my homemade Dr. Bronner's shampoo that I do have a video about here on YouTube and I still use it to this day. However, it is worth mentioning that this is all dependent on your hair, on your scalp, on your diet, on your lifestyle. So what I do may not work for everyone. However, you will find something that works for you because that is part of the journey and the learning experience about yourself. In the beginning, before I realized that the dye in my hair was a problem, I was using a sea salt spray that I made myself with water and sea salt and I heated up the water enough to melt the salt and I kept it in a bottle and I'd spray my hair every morning while fluffing it, avoiding my scalp to prevent it from drying and it worked, it did work. Um, and I did it a little bit after I was able to use plain white vinegar and vitamin C to get the hair dye out of my hair. Um, I don't know if you're able to see, but I had my hair dyed dark, dark purple and you can see Almost all of the dye has come out. My hair is naturally like a strawberry blonde color. Weird when both my parents have really dark uh, European hair. My dad's Greek and my mother is Italian. And they both have naturally dark brown hair. I don't know what happened to me. I'm blonde. Without further ado and wasting enough of your time, let's get into the video slides. This was the month prior to deciding to lock And this is when I started using Dr. Bronner's as my shampoo. Week two and week three was when I noticed that my hair would lock and then it would slip out and it just wasn't really sticking. And for some reason I wore the same dress on the same day three weeks in a row, don't ask me why. I was getting pretty frustrated by the locks coming together and then slipping away and at some point I realized that it was indeed the hair dye in my hair. I think this was at the point where I started using vitamin C treatments and um, white vinegar and you could feel the sliminess from the keratin and the hair dye sticking to my hair. Finally, week 44, and here finally everything started coming together. We hope you enjoyed those photos of seeing my journey and how it transformed and what I went through to get to where I'm at today. So let us reveal, what is it like now? Even though I wanted to do this video a while ago with a lot of gardening and time being filled fishing, I wasn't able to do the video on time like I wanted to, so now I'm at 55 weeks along with my freeform lax. And here they are, my magical ropes of patience and dedication. This is my only Congo. It was two little ones that came together. And you can see the length that my hair has added. If I didn't have the locks, my hair would probably be much longer. Uh, my hair grows fairly quickly. The loops are insane. And just going back through previous videos, you can kind of see how fast my hair has grown from my first video, even with my 
video series about diet, nutrition, mental health, and all that good stuff. A lot of loose hair still. This refuses to lack. It may never. Who knows? This loop developed within the past two weeks. You can see a curl here. In my earlier videos, my hair has no curls because of the keratin that was in that stupid hair dye. Almost my entire head is locked. This isn't actually a lock, it's a curl. This is what my hair does naturally if I don't have it locked. My very first locks appeared in the back of my head because of sleeping. And those ones are finally shrinking and forming that natural knot. And that's this one here, probably really hard to see. A lot of the ones in the back are shrinking first. And in time, my whole head will be locked, and when that time comes around, it'll be interesting to see, um, to see how long that will take. Otherwise, I am happy with the progress. Again, I never crocheted or anything like that. Um, I don't feel that for a natural journey, I feel like that's too abnormal. Even though some people need it to get going. With the hot summer, I use a hair tie at the very least to keep my hair back. But I take it out when I don't need it. I don't know what's happening there. You can still see the remnants of the red. And when I shampoo, they do get much heavier. And I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for new updates on my hair when I'm not going to do them once a week anymore. Um, I'm sticking to like at least once every other week or month. There's really no set schedule, just when I feel like the time is right. But I hope you enjoy this video. See you in the next one. Later.